So for the last 10 years probably in Lake St. Clair, we have all been dealing with something that we call Lingbaya, which is a new type of development in a very delicate ecosystem. Nobody knows what's causing it, but it is causing all kinds of headaches all the way along the shoreline in various areas of uh, Lake St. Clair in particular. And so Macomb County has entered into a contract with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for a two-year study. It's a $400,000 study. Macomb County is going to pay 50% and the Army Corps will pay the other 50%. And they are going to study this, we call it muck. They, the scientists call it lingbaya. We call it muck. And it has impacted, we're actually at a boat launch where obviously you can't launch any boats in this stuff. Or it gets into canals, uh, in, in people's boat wells. They can't use it. It's along the shoreline at, in, at beach fronts, etc. So we need to understand, it's a new phenomenon, as I say in the last decade or so, what is causing this? And then what actually is the makeup of this lingbaya? And then are there steps that we can take, preventative ste steps or certainly maintenance steps, to try to eradicate it or at least to live with it in some way? It's, as I say, a new phenomena that's happened here. And so Macomb County is, uh, we're bucking up. <clears throat> we are along the shoreline here. We're very focused on Lake St. Clair and water quality. We're concerned about this stuff for our residents and others that recreate here in, in our beautiful Lake St. Clair. And, uh, and so we are, the Public Works Office is uh, partnering, as I say, with the Army Corps of Engineers. But the money came from our Macomb County Board of Commissioners in a unanimous vote. But the project really was led by Commissioner Barb Zinner, uh, who uh, brought all of this to the County Board of Commissioners. And we worked very closely with her on uh, signing this contract. And so I'm very appreciative of her efforts. And uh, I'd like for her to comment as well. Uh, thank you, Commissioner. And um, I also would like to thank the citizens who brought this to me out of concern for their, their health and welfare. And uh, it is a, it's a major problem. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of it as a monster because it's really changing our lifestyles. It's changing uh, property values. It's changing that the fact that children can't just go out from their homes and jump in the water. Um, it's, it's a health hazard, I feel, personally, and um, it forms a, a mat that um, just grows year to year to year. You'll see the height difference. And um, underneath that mat, it's so thick in areas that you have to, t if you take a shovel and cut it out, you can't believe the smell. It's just putrid. For people who don't live by it, it's, it's, very it's very bad, can't tell you how bad it is. So that tells you there's something very bad happening where we want to be. Uh, it's taking up our area, it's taking away our water, it's growing into the lake, um, it's taking our property values away, it's taking away our, 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 li our lifestyles. Uh, this is something that has to be addressed. I'm glad that they're going to be looking at what it is and how to get rid of it. And then I'm hoping, I can't wait for the day when we can get it all out of here, burn it up so we don't see it anymore, and they know why, what it is, so we won't have to have it again. So anyway, we're uh, undertaking this study, and uh, we'll see what is causing this. Listen, I don't know if it's climate change, I don't know if it's the zebra mussels, it's not like a duckweed that we all had no. when we were kids, and we all live on the lake here, or, or certainly recreate in the lake. This is a new type of thing, and it's obviously being fed organically by something. And uh, so anyway, we're, we need to figure it out. <clears throat> so even though this is in other areas, Macomb County is particularly impacted. Yes. And so we have thought that this is an appropriate expenditure of tax dollars. We need to know what is going on with the changing ecosystem here. So uh, we'll report back as, uh, as the study progresses and uh, we find out what is actually causing this.